Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, June 7th to the 9th of 2019. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a predictive, condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Virgo, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Good card, Virgo. The Nine of Pentacles. Earth energy, which is your element. This represents self-reliance and self-sufficiency. Luxury and there's had to be discipline. Could be independence from financial concerns. And you've accomplished your goals and you feel secure. You'll be able to further your career and projects and enjoy a secure base. This is material well-being and well-controlled thought. It's solitary enjoyment of the good life, love of gardens and home. This has to do with earned rewards, fruits of labor and discipline. This is someone that's tamed their impulses, just like the bird that they tamed on their arm. This may be a time to act with such discipline because you will accomplish much by taming your instincts. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Number two of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the High Priestess. This could be a Cancer or a Taurus. It could even be a Pisces or even you, Virgo. This card is ruled by the, by the Moon and Venus. These are hidden influences and secret knowledge. This is female energy. It's passive. There's emotion involved. This is the link between the seen and the unseen. It's latent power to manifest before a period of gestation. And then there's new life. This is divine truth and wisdom, and it's nurturing the spark of creation. This is the unknown. This can also be a quiet woman. This tells us it's a time when it's better to sit still and seek peace within the self. Seek awareness and be still. This could be our secret selves longing to be recognized. Or a person may be attempting to hide something that needs to be revealed. This could be a spiritual revelation about to happen. You may actually see the solution to a problem. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. Number 10 of the Mage Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This card is ruled by the four elements, the fixed signs, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. You see the wings on the creatures assigned to the zodiac? They represent stability amidst movement and change. And each holds to the Torah, which is law, and it represents wisdom. This is... Success, it's an unexpected turn of luck, it's a surprise. It's a change of fortune for the better. There's going to be new conditions. It's a new chapter starting. It's creative evolution within the laws of chance. Destiny and fortune and elevation and luck. It's fate and karma. As the wheel turns, life changes. Nothing ever stays the same. And events are going to turn around in some fashion. This situation changes on its own accord. It's now beyond your control. It's movement aligned with destiny. You might be feeling like you're on a roll or lucky. Becoming aware of cycles or patterns. It's surprises that go beyond reason and logic. This could be taking advantage of good timing and putting your plans into motion and getting results. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Here's that dedication needed. The Eight of Pentacles. 
more earth energy. This is a symbol of striving for self-perfection. It's mastery and skill and doing a good job and trying to avoid mistakes. This is working on a trade or a profession or working on something. This is, could be employment to come sometimes here. This is being meticulous, being steadfast and industrious and disciplined, proud of your work and precise. You might be perfecting a skill or taking classes or even doing homework, attending to detail and craftsmanship. It's doing something repetitively. Could be attending to yourself, improving yourself or repairing something. But you'll find satisfaction in your work and things are evolving nicely. And you're steadily working on something and getting closer to your goal. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number 15 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Devil. This could be a Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. This has to do with temptation and bondage and limitations. And this could be a karmic bond. This is with the wheel. Could be a warning. Might be a high cost. Sometimes this is unlucky. Could be a, a negative relationship. This is the trickster and it's, and it's detrimental. Could be some deep denial here. Could be material things that are keeping you chained. You might need to confront your fears about financial security and social and material successes. Or maybe something is limiting your personal growth, especially abusive, obsessive, or harmful relationships. Or there could be a non-sexual relationship that binds you, and it must end before you can grow further. But you're the only one who can change it by using willpower. It's like, be, it's like enslavement. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. Virgo, you've got navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. Trust your gut and have faith that a higher power is directing your life. Believe and allow your life decisions to be dictated by what opens your heart and by what brings you joy. Relax. Be patient. Follow your bliss. Your life is divinely guided and all is going according to a wonderful plan for your life. Be confident that all is well. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that sometimes you can't see the road ahead. But when you become still, like the high priestess, you can feel the right way to go. It's like navigating by the stars. You might not be able to see every detail of the path for your life, but when you trust the light of the stars and your silent spirit guardians and the joy of your guiding north star to navigate in the darkness, in the morning light, you will find yourself at the right place at the right time. Here's your animal message by the deck by Susie Green. Virgo, you've got tortoise. When changes are made for the sake of change itself, resist. Older than the dinosaur, embodiment of ancient wisdom and living testament to the wonder of her form, unchanging tortoise plods on through time. Like tortoise, resist change for novelty's sake. Be true to your way of living, your partner and your creativity, Least you destroy something more wonderful than you yet know. Tortoise also counsels constructing a mental carapace to protect yourself from unjustified criticisms of others. For as tortoise's hatchlings emerge from their shells, perfect, you too were born flawless. Here's your take note moment. If you are complaining about things in your life, you are on the complaining frequency and you're not in a position to attract what you want. Get on to the frequency of good with your thoughts and words. Firstly, you will feel good, and secondly, you will be on the frequency of receiving more good. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.